Okay, so I've been putting off doing this video for uh, quite a while and the reason for that is that I really wanted to give this machine a fair um, a fair shake and uh, make sure you guys have all the information you need before you decide to go ahead and buy one. Now, um, this machine is a really good one. It's the 101 Hero, but um, Although it's able to produce really good quality prints, such as this one, the biggest issue with it is it's not very reliable um, out of the box. And the worst part about it is the customer support is almost inexistent. I tried really hard to um, work with them, and um, they only seem to be interested in. Um, replying to your emails or uh, whenever you contact them when it's uh, time to buy the printer or if you want to buy spare parts but even when you do decide to buy spare parts um, it takes forever to get any and um, I put in my order over a month ago and still nothing so um, I really wanted to give a really positive review of this printer but I can't because the customer support is just really not there um, so what do you get with the printer? You get the printer itself. Um, this the SD card does not come with a printer, so you have to have your own, but that's fine. You can use any of those that go inside cameras. It comes with a power supply unit. Um, everything else is comes pre-installed apart from the pylons. You're going to have to use screws to um, assemble them. So there's three of them. One, two, and three and plus this thing and all you're going to have to do is just screw them together um, also there's a little bit of a sun here you have to put these screws in um, let's see what else biggest drawback of this printer would be the um, extruder let me take that out real quick so you guys can see the extruder this is the one and it comes pre-assembled like this and it'll have the hot end coming out from there and it goes in just like that. Now the biggest problem with this, and that, that's why I decided to open up to find out what it was, is that the grooves on this thing here that you see are very little. So um, whenever this thing spins and pushes on the, the filament as the filament goes down, what usually happens is it gets really dirty and um, as it gets dirtier with plastic particles and all that, it really does not, it really slides. So instead of pushing the filament down, it'll keep sli sliding and then the retractions are terrible and all that kind of stuff happens. Now it comes with a fan um, pre-installed and it goes, and it goes inside there. Well, actually, it doesn't. It goes on, on this side. There. And the fan is pretty good, except for the fact that it doesn't cool the plastic very well. So, nothing wrong with the size of the fan, or um, the fan itself, but the design of the extruder and the way that it sends the air down to cool the plastic is not, not very good. Um, what else? Let's talk about the... Let's talk about the hot end part. The hot end part goes, and I ordered a new one of these ones, but it never came through the mail. It goes in there, and it goes this way, actually, uh, with this part up, because then it connects up to the, the other bits. this part goes in there and like that so this is the heat sink right there and then the plastic gets this extruded through there now this is all broken as you can see because um, once this machine jams it's pretty much impossible to unjam it and then you need to buy a new one of these which which I did but it still hasn't come in what else is there to say uh, the controller is pretty good 
I haven't ever had any problems with it. It connects up to the machine. I highly recommend you do not print directly from here, but you get uh, Repetier or Repetier host, I'm not sure how you say that, uh, and print directly via the USB, which connects in there, uh, directly from the computer because when you print from the SD card, it's very unstable. Sometimes it'll start, sometimes it won't. And you're going to have a hard time printing that way. So my final part of this review is I'm going to tell you that um, I really like this machine. I got some really good stuff done on it. It taught me a lot about 3D printing. And um, even though a lot of people like to bash the machine, I think it's a really good machine. Now, can I say the same thing about the customer support? No, I'm sorry. Customer support is terrible. I really, really want to give this printer a high review, but I can't because of the customer support. They just don't have it. And I'm very unhappy that I didn't get my replacing parts. Um, apart from that, this printer is great for, um, not for beginners. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is a good printer for beginners. You have to know, have good knowledge of um, basic electronics, uh, how to install and uninstall stuff. It's not pre, um, it doesn't come pre-built, so you have to build it yourself. And um, without proper do documentation and advice on how to use a printer, if you're a beginner, you will just break it. So that's my final thoughts on the machine. And um, I hope it's very helpful for people who decide to buy it. Um, if you are a tinkerer and you're really good with machines, I highly recommend this machine because if you want, you can upgrade it yourself. You can figure out uh, what kind of parts that you can add to make it work amazingly well. And it can produce wonderful prints. So that's all I have to say about it.